with some volunteer master gardener interns today and we're here to talk about uh, our tomato plants. We have uh, some varieties that are grafted and regular. We have in front of me, this is called Big Zach. This is a grafted variety. Uh, Big Zach was a tomato that was developed some years ago by a lady named Minnie Zachariah, hence the name Big Zach. She wanted to grow some large tomatoes. This tomato has the potential to get between five and six pounds. Now, these aren't five and six pounds, but they are two pounds plus, and they, they average one to two pounds. A very nice tomato, excellent tasting tomato. She actually crossed two heirlooms to come up with this hybrid called Big Zach. Uh, we have a regular Big Zach behind me, uh, and so far the grafting and the regular, there's not much difference. We don't see any major difference. The grafted uh, is a tomato that a variety that's been grafted onto a different rootstock in order to achieve supposedly uh, earlier tomatoes, more disease resistance, larger variety, etc. So far in our test here, we have not seen that significant difference. They are both highly yield, taste-wise the same, etc. We have two other varieties we are growing here. One, another grafted called Big Beef, which is a nice variety, uh, also very high yielding. We didn't, weren't able to find the Big be, big Beef regular, so we just opted for the Big Beef grafted. And instead we planted a, an heirloom variety called Marty's Lifter. That is another large variety that also is very high yielding. Uh, these uh, Master Gardener interns here, they've been doing the weighing and the picking and etc. This this produce gets donated to Paul's Pantry. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they've done a very good job, the watering, picking, etc., and the tracking. We actually weigh these so we know how much each plant is producing. Um, we've gotten, so far, just the tomato plants alone. These are four plants. We've picked 111 pounds of tomatoes. That's averaging 27, 28 pounds per plant, which is very good. And as you can see, they're not done yet. So we're hoping to get even more. I'm sure Paul's Pantry appreciates it. Uh, we appreciate the great work that these interns have done, and uh, uh, we hope to continue in the future. Cages too. Are... Oh yes, the cages. Another thing we did, the volunteer master gardeners, we, we came up with these cages. I've used them before. It's made out of concrete reinforcing wire. You need a strong cage, a very strong cage, to, to harbor or to hold these kinds of tomatoes or these kind of tomato plants. Uh, they work very, very well. It's it's reinforcing wire, and, and you have to make them yourself. I haven't seen them for sale anywhere yet. Uh, maybe somewhere in the future we will. Uh, another thing about the Big Zach, it's not one that you're going to find readily available. The seed is super expensive, and I don't know of too many nursery guys that want to pay three forty-five for 15 seeds. I'm hoping in the future there are. I'm going to approach some and, and ask them or request them to do so. 